This video outlines in short the main features of the Request for Information, or RFI tab, that is found in the Sponsor Workspace. It shows how you can monitor incoming requests, how you can search for and sort for RFIs, and how to respond to an RFI. The RFI tab can be found only in the Sponsor Workspace. It helps the user to view and work on incoming requests. The RFI tab lists all the requests for information that are sent from the member states to the sponsors during the validation or the assessment of a clinical trial application, the assessment of an annual safety report, the clarification raised as part of an ad hoc assessment, or an opinion request before applying a corrective measure. There are two ways for the sponsors to monitor the incoming RFIs. The Notices and Alerts tab and the RFI tab. In the Notices and Alerts tab, you will receive a message each time an RFI has been submitted, informing you that an action needs to be taken upon the received request. You can also use the RFI tab to monitor the incoming RFIs. Within both the Notices and Alerts and the RFI tab, there are search and sorting features to facilitate users' workload management. More specifically, the search functionalities on top of the screen will help you to identify specific RFIs from the RFI tab. You can use the basic search on the left side for which you were asked to fill in the ID of the clinical trial, the RFI, the ad hoc assessment or the corrective measure. In the advanced search functionality, you can retrieve particular RFIs by populating various criteria, such as the due date of the task or the status. For example, by inserting the value pending in the status field criterion and clicking on the search button, you retrieve all the pending requests. Out of 38 RFIs, 4 are still pending. Scroll down to view them. The sort functionality allows you to sort the listed RFIs according to various criteria. By sorting the four pending RFIs according to the due date, you can prioritize them by bringing on top those that are close to their due date and act upon them before they expire. Find the RFI you need to work on and click on the gray label with its status. You will be redirected on the working area for the RFI. Depending on the content in which the RFIs were raised, different actions are possible for the sponsor user. The space of the RFI you selected to work on has been expanded. Use the lock button to be able to work on each field. Click on the change application button if you intend to introduce changes to the dossier of the application as part of the RFI response. Below, use the add document button to attach supporting documents if needed. Scroll down to the area of the considerations. Click on the lock button to be able to work on the fields and to respond to each one of the considerations. The submit response button is deactivated. Type your response to the respective field. You can always use the add document button to upload documents to support your response to the respective consideration. Once you complete your response, click on the save button to activate the Submit Response button. Submit the response by clicking on the Enabled Respective button and then on the Confirm button. Your response will be sent while a message will appear on the top right corner. The RFI status will change into Responded. More details on RFIs will be given in a dedicated module. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the various types of RFI and how to address them, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.